Good afternoon to the citizens of St. Bernard Parish. Today is Tuesday, January 5th. Um, council meeting is tonight. This is my council meeting update to our council members and the citizens of St. Bernard Parish. So the first thing I want to do is welcome everyone back from the holiday season here. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. I hope we have a great new year coming into 2021. This is going to be one of our best years ever. Um, starting off with this COVID crisis, which I will talk about it here in a little bit. But I'm so positive about the upcoming year. I'm positive about our staff um, coming back and um, reinventing themselves and, and pushing our parish forward like we always do. Um, we are now a leader in our region and we want to keep it that way. And uh, it's because of our citizens and our staff and our hardworking um, council members. So um, with that said, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, COVID, excuse me, COVID-19 um, crisis here in St. Bernard Parish. I just got off of the phone with Kim Keene, our hospital director. Um, things are tightening up a little bit at our hospital, um, but she assures me that anyone with a health problem is going to be able to access our hospital and they are working so hard to make sure that it continues that way throughout this crisis. We are approaching um, our peak levels um, that we had back in April, <clears throat> and we are approaching capacity at our hospital, but all is good. Um, they are reaching out to try to staff the hospital um, due to these increased numbers. So people are, um, coming down with COVID at a um, higher rate today than it was yesterday. Um, if you're watching this message, I'm sure you know someone around you that has come down with COVID-19, which was not the case, if you remember back in April, right? So more people are getting it. One of the good things about um, this increase or this peak would be that we aren't seeing um, many cases that are very, very serious, right? That's not to say some of these cases aren't serious, but to the level um, where it is, is, it is causing fatalities here in St. Bernard Parish. One death is way too many, and we have 37 here so far in St. Bernard Parish. So <clears throat> our school system is operating right now. All of our children are back in school. Our staff here at St. Bernard Parish Government is back. Our first responders are still working and, and we're moving forward here in St. Bernard Parish. All the while we um, follow the guidelines set down by CDC for COVID-19. Six feet apart, wash your hands. Please be respectful of other people. And all we ask you to do is have personal responsibility for yourself and make sure that you don't put anyone else um, in a vulnerable situation um, during this crisis of COVID-19. The vaccines are, are, are coming to our community and the nation as we speak. The rollout of the vaccines is such where here at Parish Government, we really don't find out um, that information until it's put up on a state website. Um, but they're trying to get them out as best they can, as organized as best they can. My advice to the citizens of St. Bernard Parish is to call your doctor, call the hospital that you use, and find out <clears throat> as much information as you can um, to make sure that you get your appointment to be vaccinated. Um, from what I understand, um, everyone over 70 right now is eligible to schedule an appointment. And today at 4.30, I believe our governor is going to be making an announcement, and I'm not sure if they're going to expand that at this time, but I'm hearing that he may do that today. So um, with that said, we want everyone to be safe. Um, we, we want to make sure that we protect everyone who is vulnerable. And, and like I said, um, personal responsibility for our business community and our citizens, and, um, and, and let's move forward that way. I want to I want to thank uh, Chief Fernandez and the um, whole crew at Valero for the Santa on the Bayou. They 
rescheduled that. That will be tomorrow, January 6th. And uh, that's on Wednesday. And it starts, I believe, at 5 p.m. at the Islenos co Complex. They have worked out all of the COVID-19 um, issues. You will stay in your car. You will enter the complex through Highway 46. I believe we will have sheriff's deputies on hand to make sure you can get through um, that area. Um, we have, I don't even want to say how many toys, it's thousands of toys for the children of St. Bernard Parish. You will drive through, um, have no contact with the volunteers, um, and we will have minimal um, volunteers at that point. And I believe they're going to stick the presents in the trunk of your car. There are limitations to the gifts per car. I'm sorry I don't have that information um, right now, but um, we want to thank them for all that they do. All of the organizations throughout um, St. Bernard Parish, we want to thank you for giving um, the Christmas spirit to um, our children. So, um, Merry Christmas. I hope everyone had that. We got a great new year. We're so optimistic. Um, I want to thank our council and we have a new chairman tonight, Councilman Lewis. I, uh, I want to um, thank you for your uh, uh, service to our parish and looking forward to working with you throughout 20, excuse me, 2021. So good night and God bless.